Dear July, if I tell you a secret, will you promise not to tell anyone? Because if people knew about this, I would probably be kicked out of the country. The 4th of July kind of makes me homesick for England. It's all the red, white, and blue. It just makes me want to string up Union Jack bunting and wear all my Britishy clothes. But I try to restrain myself, so... This year, I found a covert way to celebrate my pride in both countries by making a 4th of July trifle. Now, I've never made a trifle before, but what better way to celebrate America than with Britain's most classic dessert, right? Or pudding, I should say, to be more accurate. Although, I was so confused at first when I realized that all desserts in the UK were called pudding, whether they were pudding or not. I've never even made a successful custard before, so I called in the help of my mama. She makes a pretty mean banana pudding, and I don't know what went differently. Maybe it's just something about having your mama in the kitchen with you, but it turned out so great, we decided to make two batches. Mmm, I have missed this stuff. I couldn't find a recipe that quite fit what I imagined. All of them were just a little bit off, but we ended up combining a few of them. Look to see what was standard. You've got your berries, your jelly or jello, custard, sponge, or ladyfingers. Um, some people add spirits, but we didn't put those. The blueberry juice was pricey enough. And whipped cream. My trifle dish was a little bit small, so by the time we added two layers of custard, the whipped cream was kind of out. But with all those beautiful berries on top, I don't think anyone will really miss it. Maybe we'll try the whipped cream next time. It was just a really great day. I hope to have lots more like this.